Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome to Hollow Knight. This is a game that may look familiar to some if you've been watching the channel for a while, but this was a game that I tried to play and tried to do a playthrough of when it first released. However, I was playing Mass Effect at the same time that this released, and that was kind of my already established long-running series. Um, but when I started this game, I didn't know how long it was, and once I realized how long it was, I decided to stop uploading it. I stopped doing videos on it. Because, like I said, I was already doing Mass Effect, and I didn't want to have too many long series at once, so I decided I would come back to it later, and now we're at later. Mostly because I was trying to record something else today, and the file got corrupted, and I lost an hour of recording. So I wanted to play something that I was familiar with, something that I know is fun, and something that I enjoy. And I've been wanting to redo a series on the game for a while, because, like, the first time I played through the game, I didn't quite understand everything that was happening in it. Um, and I didn't fully understand the story, but now that I've been playing it in my spare time, I better understand what's going on. And like I said, I love this game, and I want to give it the proper playthrough and the proper series that it deserves. And I enjoy having a longer series on the channel, because, like, it seems like every channel has one, whether it's, like, Happy Wheels or Prop Hunt, or, like, a game that they played when they were a kid. So I felt like Hollow Knight would be a good one, and I feel like a lot of channels are also defined by what you know, games they play for a while on the series. Like, it's like, oh, that's the Happy Wheels person, or that's the Prop Hunt person, so I want to be the Hollow Knight person, I guess. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, I just want to play something that's super chill, super fun, something I'm familiar with. Uh, so let's start the game. Also, <laughs> uh, the game does not take 41 hours to beat. That is because I use this- I forgot about that. This is what I use to uh, test my recordings to make sure like the volume and everything is recording, the sound is recording. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take 41 hours. It took me 41 hours to get that far because I like doofing around in the game and I like using it as a test run for my recordings. Um, but let's start a new game. I really hope it's not going to take 41 hours. I guess we'll see. Knowing me, I'll probably get lost very often. In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we changed, base instincts were redeemed, a world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. An Elegy for Hallownest by Monomon the Teacher Superhero landing. Guys, he's gonna do a superhero landing. Yeah! Superhero landing. <laughs> it's always funny to me when he does that, because he's just like this tiny little thing, and he makes like this huge impact, and then he just stands up and he's like, Hello! I am here! Your savior! <laughs> so yeah, this is the character we play, and he's absolutely adorable, and I love him. A game by Team Cherry. So, I call him Marshmallow. I don't know if that's his actual name. I don't know if he actually has a name. Uh, but he just looks like a little marshmallow to me because he's got like a little square head. I think he's supposed to be a beetle because he has like pinchers on top. Um, but like I said, he looks like a little, I guess, beetle skeleton. He has a little square head, so. It feels so weird to be back at the beginning of the game. It feels like it's been like centuries since I like played the game, I guess, from the beginning. So. But that's probably a good thing. It's probably going to be very humbling because it like... <laughs> Since I've played the game for so long, I'm like, I know what's up. I know what's going on. And I have a feeling I'm probably going to get my ass kicked all over again. Um, so like I said, maybe it'll teach me a thing or two about being so overconfident about playing this. 
Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul has been collected, hold B to focus and heal. Got it. Also, I was an idiot during the first one because I was like, huh, I don't get it. I just kept tapping B and I was like, is it working? Is it working? I don't think it's working. And now, like, when I look back on that, I'm like, you idiot. <laughs> it's just as simple as holding a button and you couldn't even do that much. So... That was the other reason, too, I really wanted to redo a series, uh, or redo the series on the game, because the first time I went through the game, I really wasn't paying much attention. I was concentrating more on commentary than I was the game. Uh, woo -hoo! That was close. Um, but, like, now that I've been through the game, I kind of understand it better. So, like, if I concentrate on commentary, I'm not going to miss anything. I'll still understand what's going on. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, like, I really like this game. And, like, I remember the first time I played through it, it was a lot of fun. Because, like, I still wasn't that comfortable with commentary yet. Um, ew, nice timing. Oh, I love when that happens. That barely ever happens. That rarely happens. But when it does, it's just, mm, it's say magnifique. Um, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but, yeah, when I first played through the game, um... I wasn't too comfortable with commentary, and something about this game just was so easy to commentate over. Get over here, you delicious little blue morsels. There we go. They give you extra lives, which comes in handy a lot later on in the game. Um, and there are other upgrades too and stuff like that, like little charms you get that help you uh, get different upgrades and help you with your lives and stuff like that. Like, a lot of them come in handy. Um, oh no, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess we'll never come back here again. That was my opportunity, and I blew it. Heboop, heboop, heboop. Um, but yeah, like I said, that was like one of the things that I loved most, and that was the one thing that stood out to me the most with this game. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's just so relaxing, it's super chill, and it's easy to commentate over. So, it's a good starter, uh, starter game, I guess, if you want to do Let's Plays. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Fuck that shit. Fuck the police. I'm not gonna bear your, or obey your laws. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom Hallownest. Also, if you don't like sad stories, this is not the game for you. Because once you learn what happened to Hallownest, you're gonna be heartbroken. Okay. Give it a few good swings. Keep going. It's like McGregor. He has no legs left. Keep going. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain that reference. There we go. Okay. I was like, I can't remember if there's a cutscene or not. But like, I don't know if you guys have seen that video of like the Irish family trying to catch the bat. But oh my god, I was crying. It was so funny. Like, I love that video to bits. Superhero landing! Yeah. Um... Like, I don't know what it was about it, but, like, that part in particular made me, like, laugh like nothing else. And he's like, get him! He's like McGregor! He's got no legs left! Also, I apologize for my terrible Irish accent. Uh, cause, where is it? In oh, we're in Dirthmouth, if you guys want to know. Um, but I think, like, they were from County Kerry, which is, like... I've been trying to learn, like, the different parts of Ireland and stuff like that. I'm trying to become more worldly and, like, learn all the different parts of Europe and Ireland and stuff like that. Uh, but I want to say it's, like, in Southern Ireland, so it's a very tricky accent to do. Oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer you welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared, headed down to that well one by one in the caverns below. It used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. Hooey! Hooey on that! None of them are as strong as me. I'll show them all and I'll show you. Anyways, <laughs> it's just like I go on this rant, like, please, I'm the shit. And then I get the shit kicked out of me, and we all learn a lesson that day. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Isadella and Cornifer. 
That's the other reason, too, I like the game, is, like, the... I don't know what to call them. The secondary characters, I guess, like Isabella and Cornifer and some of the other characters that you meet later on, they don't say a lot. There's not a lot to them. They're very simple characters. They, you know, you just interact with them every now and again when you cross paths. But, like, the way they're written, I don't know. It's really easy to get attached to them. So. Ugh. Big strong landing for a big strong boy. Forgotten crossroads. Okay. Where should we go first? It's also one of those things where it's like, it's been so long since I played the beginning of the game, I'm like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, with what I know now, it seems kind of overwhelming. But we'll get through it. We'll get it through... Hopefully, we'll get through it quickly. Because... The beginning of the game is like super easy, or at least it feels super easy now. Um, oh yeah, let's check out this place. I'm trying not to laugh because... <laughs> I'm used to having the power up, so I was like, let's just, let's just use this power up. Oh wait, I can't. I can just jump and slice, and that's about it. That looks familiar. Those symbols look super familiar. I wonder what could be in here. Hey, it's that weird thing that we saw in the introduction. I'm sure it has no meaning or no significance whatsoever to the story. Hello there, how delightful to meet another traveler along these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. Small but sturdy. Good things come in small packages. <laughs> I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with this unearthed place. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what the other marvels lie deep and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. Okay, whatever you say. I'm just here to kick some booty. I'm just here to kick some butt. But it was good seeing you, Coral. I'll see you around later. So, like I said. I don't know, like, if there's any sort of, like, benefit to seeing the characters more often than not. Um, like, you run into a lot of the characters later on in the game. Like I said, you cross paths with them often. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's any benefit or anything like that to talking to them. It's just like, we're here if you want someone to talk to. Huh. Okay. Trying to think. Yep, okay. Wait, can we time this right? I want to see if we can time this right. Hey, buddy. Hey, friendo. You want to charge at me? You want to come at me? Aw, oh, no. I got the timing off. God dang it. Yeah, get out of here. No, get out of here. He. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's so funny where it's like it tells you to focus and he's just like, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. It'd just be funny if he made like a little toot sound. Oh, lowbrow humor. It's always good in every situation. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Okay. My, this looks fancy. Hey, big guy, what's up? I have to be careful around you. Hit. 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 Oh, I accidentally struck up. That took a while to get used to, too, is like the strikes that you can make are directional. Ooh. So like I'll accidentally, like I said, I'll accidentally, eh, I'll accidentally hold up when I'm trying to slice across. Leave me alone. Well, I guess technically I started this fight, so you can't leave me alone, but still. Uh, thank you, thank you. Baby! This is my favorite part of the game. Um, so later on in the game, you run into this, like, we'll run into him, but I just want to explain it. Um, there's this, like, super sad cal caterpillar dude. I think they're caterpillars. Apparently they're grubs, but I call them caterpillars. So there's, like, this super sad dude who's, like, just crying. And, like, you see all these holes around him. And, like, obviously right there you realize that he's trying to collect his children. All his children have been taken away, which is super fucked up. Like, why would you take away someone's children? It's like finding Nemo all over again. Um... So yeah, like he gives you uh, little like charms, I guess. He gives you little bits and bobs if you find his kids. 
Uh, most of the time it's Geo, which is what we're collecting. That's what the 108 is, is Geo, and you use that for upgrades and charms. Um, so yeah. And this is the thing I love about the game too, because like I've watched other people play this game. If you guys have ever seen Dexterity Bonus, I watch her Hollow Knight stream like all the time. Like she does VODs and she uploads them to YouTube. Um, and I was like watching her stream of this while I play the game and it's like, I don't know, it's kind of fun. It feels like I'm playing the game with someone. Um, but I was like watching her stream while playing this and I forgot what I was, where I was going to go with that. God dang it. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. It's just like she discovered the game in a completely different way than I did. So like you can never play this game the same way twice. I guess maybe if you like took notes you could, but that that's too much work. <laughs> Hi buddy. I was gonna try to sing it, but let's just not do that. I'll bury my mother, pale and slight, bury my father with his eyes shut tight, bury my sisters two by two, and then when we're done, let's bury me too. <laughs> do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you doing down here? If you came to get wealthy, well, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's plenty for anyone. Just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> She's so adorable. I love her. Also, I'm sorry that I keep, I guess, assuming genders. I shouldn't do that. I just realized that I was doing that. Um, but they are adorable, and I love them. They have got to be one of my favorite characters. Uh, so with that being said, let's see what's over here. I'm trying to like remember everything by memory. I'm so used to using the map because, oh, that was stupid. That was stupid of me. I was a stupid little doof right there. I'm just so used to using the map to figure everything out, which is kind of bad. Like I really should try to remember this stuff, I guess by memory, but I'm too lazy. Like the map for this game is like a necessity and like, oh, God dang it. I forgot. <laughs> I also, I don't know, I haven't quite gotten the hang of like looking straight up because every now and again I like fidget with the controller so I'll like move sideways and up rather than just looking up. I'm still not that good. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. Be prepared for a lot of that. I have the memory of a gnat, so I'll probably like go on a tangent and then forget what the main point was. No, oh, this, the, these doofuses, these dang doofuses. Okay, well you come first. Take them on one at a time, and then we'll deal with you. Eh, that's why I hate you. You jump. I hate that. Oh, I hate jumpers. I hate them. Okay. There we go. And I have so, I have so few lives. You get like upgrades for more lives later. Hello. Goodbye. Huh. 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 Okay. <laughs> no. 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 I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Like, they're not as bad later on in the game once you get upgrades, but like right now it's just like, this sucks. I gotta like estimate where he's gonna jump and I can't do it. I'm terrible at making estimations. There we go. Or are they? I gotta stop genderizing. I gotta stop assuming genders. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, no, ah! It's like the most innocent, like, you know, easiest to kill one is the one that like gets me. Go figure, okay. I hear a baby though. We gotta go save the baby. Ah! So. That always like feels like the worst though when it's like you're playing this game and you're like, oh, this guy's easy to kill and he ends up killing you and it's like, well then. Aren't I just the butt of the joke? Heh. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna get him. Oh, get him. Get him. He get him. There we go. I like jumping in this game too. It's just fun. And then like, once I get rid of this guy, you can do like little baby jumps like heh, heh, heh. <laughs> or you can do super long jumps. So, like I said, I like the fact that like when you swing, it's directional. You can like control your jump if you want. Like you can do little baby jumps or you can do big jumps. Um, oh no, I don't think we can. I don't think we can get you yet, baby. I'll be back for you. I promise. Once I get the stuff that I need. Once I get the upgrade that I need. Oh yes, I remember this area. I remember this area quite well. It's a pain in my butt. 
We're just gonna, ah, that's why. Those freaking, ugh, the freaking, the frick of frack, frick, frick, frack. Eh, get him. I will take my revenge out on you. Maybe not. I don't wanna lose all my lives. Um, but at the same time, now I need more soul. This area is a pain in the butt, cause like those little, uh, those little fly dudes, horse flies, I guess, I don't know, they got like a weird mouth. Um, their paths are very random. Because they just keep going until they knock into something and then they turn back. So, like, you can't really estimate their path. I guess after a while it kind of follows the same pattern. But, like, it's not guaranteed. So. <sighs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> I think I hit him before. I don't know. That's the other thing, too. My sword is, like... Or my nail, rather. My nail is super weak. So, because we haven't upgraded that yet. Like, I don't know, just the way everything, like, works in this game, it, it just works so perfectly. Like, it synchronizes so well, so. Be prepared for a lot of gushing about this game, because like I said, I love it. Here's the main man I was looking for. Hello, Cornifer. Hmm? Hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely, exquisitely, exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Heck yeah. It's so cheap. Okay. Acquired a map. Hold left mouse, or left mouse button. Left bumper. You can tell I'm a computer gamer. <laughs> Hold the left bumper to view the map of the current area. View a detailed map of Hollow Nest in the map pane. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I'd suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Isadella. She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always excited to see me. Perfect, because he was the guy that I wanted to visit. So this is where we are now. This is one tiny bit of the map. I don't know if it'll let me do it. It will. It gets way bigger than this, as you guys can tell. Like the map is so extensive, it's ridiculous. Uh, but we're in dirt mouth right now, technically. The Forgotten Crossroads, so. And then this was the other stuff I wanted to show. So like we have these things. I don't know if I want to explain them yet, um, but this is where like our little upgrades are gonna be. So right now we have focus and those three little dials underneath are gonna be more upgrades, more abilities that we get. Oh, it doesn't have it yet. There's also like an area for like charms and stuff like that later on. Um, so like I said, there's a lot to this game, but it's also a lot of fun. It's very relaxing. Um. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, and in the next episode we'll head back up to Dirtmouth and get a compass. Because um, as Cornifer said, I have no head for direction, so it comes in handy. Like, I know this area uh, relatively well. You come back and forth through this area a lot later on in the game. Um, but it's still useful to have a compass, because it's hard to keep track of where you are later on in the game. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. In the next episode we'll head up to Dirtmouth and get a compass. And like I said, I'm just super excited to be playing this game again. I hope you guys are looking forward to the series, uh, but that's going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and of course I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!